Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. In today's video we are going to be picking up where we left off and we're going to be continuing with part 4 of the new ship build. Uh, in today's video we are going to be finishing off the bridge section by adding the funnel, the mast, the searchlights, the radars, all those nice little detailing parts onto the top of the deck itself. Uh, along with other small little detailings that I've obviously done before the video and also in this video itself. And then lastly we'll finish off with actually start planning out the engine room, starting placing down the engine blocks uh, uh, and doing a little bit of detailing down there. So that all set, we'll go ahead and we'll get started with the video. So let's start with the changes since the last video. The first change is you can see we've gone ahead and actually painted the keel of the hull itself. Uh, that's going to be all black. Along with that, we've also gone ahead and done a little bit of detailing work, but added some paint blocks to the side of the ship. So we have our uh, obviously our company logo and then also we've gone ahead and added our rescue zone uh, symbols or lettering along there. With that a uh, couple small things I've painted the interior of our bridge all white um, just to make it stand out a bit. Add some rails to the top of the bridge on the roof which we'll be building up just now and then lastly we've gone ahead and done a little bit of detailing on the bow of the ship uh, just by adding the helm to the actual water cannon so we control them manually and also just gone ahead and made a couple of just small detailing pieces in the front here where in theory you would go ahead and attach ropes for mooring. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So to start with we're going to be working on the top section of the bridge. Now I want to go ahead and add a funnel so I'm just going to be placing it only on the right side here as we're facing. So in order to do that we have to go ahead unfortunately and delete a couple of these blocks that we already had placed. We can obviously figure out how we're going to go ahead and fix that later on but in the meantime we can just leave it like that. Now you want to go ahead and plan to see obviously where you want it. I know more or less uh, I want it to be in between so start there going around up here so we'll just go ahead and delete all these extra windows that we don't need anymore because we won't be looking in the funnel itself. So I'm going to go ahead build this up and then I'll meet you back when it's done. So once we finish actually building and planning our funnel itself, you can see obviously we have a nice hole in the center which we can run our pipes down into the main compartment underneath the actual bridge and then physically down into our engine bay which is going to be somewhere in the hull later on in another video. Now carrying on with that, we obviously want this to have a nice slope to it. Now unfortunately with the wedge blocks in game, it's really hard to get that beautiful slope. So in order to achieve it, we're just going to be using our wing blocks themselves go ahead place them down just leaving a gap of three in between each where the actual slope piece is going to be and there you go and you now get that nice beautiful slope going along the top there and looks really good so with all that said uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next part of this bridge top section so next off what we're going to be doing is just doing a little detailing work on the middle deck itself and um, we're going to be adding a couple barrels. Now these are not going to serve any purpose at all, however they just make the ship a little bit, look a little better at the end of the day. So I'm just going to go ahead and build the barrels themselves. So to do that just go ahead three blocks high, go out on one side, you're pretty much making a cross long ways and then what you do is just go ahead and grab your wedge blocks, drag them along and do the underside too and don't forget the other side try and get in here drag this along and go to the top and then you can pretty much start to see we start getting a simple barrel shape and now to replicate that we can obviously go ahead and use our selection grid so I'm just going to go ahead drag up so instead of constantly building more and more and more new ones wherever you want to put these in your ship you can obviously just go ahead drag select it like I'm doing right now and then we can just copy it and paste it wherever we want so I'm just going to go and press copy and then where I want to do it is I'm going to have three over here so one low and then two high going across and we'll actually add some supports for it just now but so let's just start by putting it in place let's go ahead drag it in place just like so press paste go up again press paste again and then wherever you want to put another one we can do there fantastic and then if you want to do it on the other side you would have to go ahead and drag it again press paste again cross paste it makes it much quicker than actually going ahead and continuously building and building and building one thing to note is obviously when you place these they paste as different entities so what we're going to be doing to fix that or remedy that is just by building some supports at the rear of it so i'm just going to go ahead take one block 
drag it straight up like so and then take another one and do exactly the same thing and then I'm going to do the same on the other ship or other side so let's go ahead drag that across and drag it across there and then once we've done that we can go ahead then and actually just merge it all together so simply by clicking our hull and then clicking the barrels themselves don't forget to obviously go ahead and do it on the other side fantastic so that's all merged um, we'll back off a bit and you can see that it actually looks quite nice uh, we have a nice little bit of detailing over there so that's it let's go ahead and move on to our next section I'm going to be going ahead and adding our searchlights so pretty much they're going to be just over here so we can go ahead do that just by going two blocks up along with that we're going to be using our pivots so we can actually pivot the actual searchlight itself once we have that placed on uh, figure out what height you want it so I'm gonna go one block higher however I'm going to use a let's see what components we have obviously you add some different components to make it look a little bit unique so I might see if we can add add in a generator it's no there's no point in adding it there but we'll just add it there to make it look half nice uh, and then we can add the searchlight on top of that so you can see there that our searchlights are done the next part we're going to be doing is adding our radars to the back so once again simply I'm just going to be using a let's see we'll use a piston just place it wherever we want just over there I'm going to disable my x-plane because I want two different size ones so the first one over here I'm going to go ahead place it down and then I'm going to go up two blocks grab our white blocks and then start building out so I'm going to go three blocks on either side one two three one two three then get a completely square shape and then we start planning out our actual radar itself and then start deleting the blocks that we don't need to start getting that nice round shape on it itself so you can see if we go up from the top you can see we've got almost like a round shape and then just to finish that off what you want to do is just obviously plan how high you want it so I'm gonna to go to about there so we just go ahead and finish joining all these pieces up to that height now with a piston you will obviously need to go ahead and give it power and also tell it where you want it to be tall or short uh, so that gives us an option on, on our height which is quite cool and then once we have all this place down you can then go ahead and grab your slope blocks and start making this look quite nice by just going and dragging these across like so now you don't have to use a piston you can use whatever you want uh, at the end of the day I'm just using that because I think it looks quite nice uh, we can also go ahead and finish the top section and in order to do that we're just going to be using our inverse blocks going across like so taking those ones away in the center Oops. and just using our sloped blocks or wedge blocks going up and then if you want to you could either close it off like I'm doing now or you could go up another level so we just go you can use that just play around with it until you until you're happy with with the design uh, it's really up to you at the end of the day so we'll see how that looks now close it off again and then let's back off and see so you can see that's our radar module I i'm pretty happy with that what i might do actually is just get rid of the pistons they look a little bit too flimsy uh, so we'll just go ahead and drop down a block just like so once we have that make sure you merge it because the piston made it a different entity and then on the top here if you wanted to you could actually go ahead and make us like a support beam so simply by just putting a wedge block and then just ang angling it So you could do that and then go go pretty much all the way around so you have your support beams underneath it to support it so i'm going to go ahead uh finish that up build another one on the other side i'm just going to make a somewhat smaller one on the other side 
and then when we get back we'll start working on our mast itself so we've completed all our radar pieces. Along with that, I've built the base of the mast up itself. Once again, just using normal blocks uh, and a couple of wing blocks just to angle it a little bit in the, in the top uh, and towards the center of it. Now, you're probably thinking, well, we have an issue. We can't build any higher because obviously our ship is quite high already. So in order to build the mast on here, what we're going to be doing is actually by using a compact pivot. So we'll grab that, grab a compact pivot. We're gonna place it just over here and we're going to then build our mast going back towards the ship. So what happens is we'll set up the logic that when we spawn our ship in, it's then going to go ahead, flip this up, make it stand right, and there we go. We don't have to worry about our space. You need to obviously utilize the extra space that you have in your creation in order to make tall things. If you wanted to, you could obviously add a magnet there and then build it as a different entity and then spawn it as a mission. However, I want this boat to spawn in as one whole piece, everything right as it goes. So you can see here we've got our mast. You can obviously just make this look a little bit better by going ahead and just adding some blocks along here. And then the logic for this is pretty much just going to be a simple number block. So we can do that now actually. Number block, you can put it wherever you want. If you want to hide it, you could. Uh, I'm just going to go hide it inside there. Oops. Just by painting that, grabbing the number block over here. Have a look at what the arrows are doing. So negative, so we want a negative one. Cool, and then what we can do is we can actually just grab a small battery just for testing purposes right this very minute. I'll add one there. Put it there. Join the number block, make sure it's on minus one. It is perfect. And then if we go ahead and spawn this in, you should see that the the actual mast will then go ahead and actually move up. Fantastic. And there we go. We got our mast now on top of the ship. Great. So we'll go ahead, we'll go back into that. Uh, we'll leave the battery there for now, just obviously until we finish building this up and adding our main battery storage in the hull itself. So we'll leave that there. Next part I wanted to do was actually to build our little, the two like two rotating radars on top of this mast. Now to do that, I uh, use the pivots again. However, this time we use the velocity pivots. Now the velocity pivots themselves will continuously rotate, uh, whether depending on what number you give them. So I want one to be over there. And then I think the other one I'll probably put over here. It's so just going up like so. Grabbing another velocity pivot again, putting it there. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and build Let's see here, paint this white. Great, and we'll paint this white. And then you just go ahead to build the radars, just build a couple blocks out like so. Uh, depending on how big or how long you want them, uh, I'm pretty happy with that one. And then this one will make it a little bit smaller. So we'll go say a couple blocks like that out, maybe one more. We'll see how many blocks we have, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, I'll delete one. So it doesn't interfere with the mass and damage it. And then to actually make it look half nice at the bottom, what we're going to be doing is just using our wedge blocks once again and just enclosing this in like so. And then taking it like that. And then we can do the same thing over here simply by doing our wedge blocks. Obviously you can see we can't go any higher. However, I think I do have a little bit of room to move it down. There we go taking our wedge blocks like so. And then at the bottom, we can also go ahead and place another wedge block. And then just use your permanent blocks like so. Grab your last wedge block, place it there. And there you go. And then you got your, your two radars. And then to actually set those up, those will also need a number value to rotate. So depending if you want them to obviously rotate left or right, positive so if you look here if you give it a positive value it's going to rotate to the left a negative value it's going to rotate to the right and then with velocity pivots depending on what number you give it uh will tell it to turn in which direction and then you can obviously go ahead and change the speed of it so i'm just going to get it to rotate all at the same so we just use that number block we already have there and then for the purpose of this video i'm just going to go ahead and connect this electric up right now so we can go ahead spawn it in and test it and see what it looks like so i'm going to spawn in and you can see now the, the blocks are rotating. They're rotating a little bit fast for my liking, uh, but once again, we can go ahead and change that, 
just by obviously going into the settings of the actual pivot itself, which we can go ahead and close that off. Go into the settings, change this to 116, for example. And now I'll spawn it in. You should see it should be much slower in how it's rotating. There we go. So that's pretty much about right and how I'd want it. I'll probably, uh, when we start building up the bridge, I'll probably add a a switch to this to either have it on or off so we're not constantly using electricity with those with those pieces themselves. So with that done, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next section. Now for the last part of the video, we're just going to go ahead and do a little bit of planning for our engine room. As you can see in front of me, I've actually built the room itself. Uh, just pretty much a square room, different levels, a little bit of railing, a little bit of stairs going pretty much how to I want it. Uh, so with that said, we're going to be starting off with the actual control panels themselves. So think of where all our dowels and switches are going to be. It's going to be all the way along this back wall over here to the side. So we can, as I said, we can add all our dowels and switches there. And next off, we're going to be building a little desk where you can obviously go and sit at and get all your meter, meter readings or your controls, or you can actually activate the engines from there. So a simple desk just by bringing a couple of blocks back. I'm going to do a wraparound desk. So we're just going to go up like that, go across like that. And then at the end here, what we're going to do is just pretty much drag this across, bring it like this and then put a slope block and then you probably if you wanted to you could go ahead and actually add the chairs in so passenger seats grab those unfortunately these are the only ones we have at the moment so you can go ahead bring these there add those in there so you can imagine sitting there and controlling your engines obviously you don't have to have the chairs you could just leave it as a standing a standing workstation and then as i said in a future video we can actually start adding our screens and dials and switches and buttons and things in there uh, the next section what we're going to be doing is adding in our actual engine blocks so I'm going to be taking a white and grabbing the diesel engines. At the moment, I'm not too sure what type of system we're actually going to be using to control the ship, whether we're going to go for a full diesel system or a diesel electric like hybrid system. As I said, I'm not 100% sure yet. So I thought I'll just go ahead and actually start placing down the blocks in the meantime, and then we can pipe it up and wire it up as we want to in another, in another video. And then lastly, in this section up here, I was thinking of putting up our electric motors. So if we are going for diesel electric, obviously this will be our motors for the electric system. If not, uh, then we would be using this area for our generators instead. So once again, we, we future pretty much future proving it just depending on what on what we're actually going to be putting in the ship itself. So you can see the engine room is starting to come together now. Uh, it's ready for our installation of the dowels and so on and so forth. And it's starting to look good. Obviously we need to add lighting and piping and so on and so forth. I've added a little bit of extra room on the sides here just to have our fuel tanks or our water tanks. Obviously we don't have to put it there, we can put it at the back. Uh, and then I was thinking also for our battery store probably to keep an area here in the rear of the ship where we need a little bit more weight because uh, at the moment our ship is front heavy. So we'll probably be putting our batteries in the rear of the ship, just hiding them underneath the deck. Uh, I think would probably be the easiest and smartest thing to do. Uh, and we'll obviously need to have a little bit of space for our active stabilization system. So with that all said, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll actually just spawn in the ship itself, uh, see how it looks after we've obviously added a couple detailing on the top decks and we've done the mast and so on and so forth. So I'm just going to jump into our photo mode here and then we can just have a quick look. As you can see, it's starting to come together. It's starting to look really nice. I love that uh, white bridge section and it really stands out against the red of the ship itself. And obviously the barrels also make it hugely different uh, along with the writing and so on. Uh, it really starts to come together at the end of the day and obviously you could go skip and have a look at our engine room engine room is starting to look really nice and coming together as i said earlier uh, so yeah that's about it uh as i said i think i'll go ahead and end the video over there for today um as always go ahead and comment below uh, what obviously you would like to see in the future videos while you're there don't forget that like and subscribe button for any future content that's going to be coming along uh, and finally thank you very much for watching guys as always i hope you found it enjoyable uh and found it somewhat informative at the end of the day uh, and then we'll go ahead and we'll see you in the next video